We're ready to start the Larapinta Trail. Wicked, the day's finally arrived. We're off. A year in the planning. The rain is clearing. It's a little bit warmer and um, we're hoping to see you even see some sun soon. 230 for the for the trip. Let's go. What if I would tell you that things don't happen once, they always come back. What if I could throw us back to the very moment when we had our luck suddenly it's clear to me you're all i ever wanted Can't if we walk that way we'll get to darwin in i don't know a few months and if we walk that way we'll get to alice springs and then all the way to adelaide if we walk that way we'll get to simpson's gap Well, we've, uh, we've managed Wallaby Gap and we're going to continue on to Simpsons Gap. Uh, it's a funny little black and white bird with a very waggy tail. Time check, 2.50pm, ETA uh, about 4 hours. Tell me that things don't happen once, they always come back. What if you could throw us back to the very moment when Okay, we're on our way. We've got a couple of k's to go. We can see our objective, but we've got to go around a hill first. But good first day. Rocks are suitably red. We haven't seen any kangaroos, but we have seen some very good green birds and a, another one that had a very funny name and was very speckledy. The weather's clearing, so it's going to be great tomorrow too. We're at Simpsons Gap campsite and everyone's just about 200 metres down there but it is pretty full. We arrived in dark so we couldn't find any tent spaces so we came back down here which has been good. Close to ourselves. Beer can Tetris, it's always fun. Just preparing for the day, getting the gurney goo and the body glide and the two pairs of socks and we'll be bomb proof for the day. Good morning, this is Simpsons Gap. It's a bit of a tourist area, there's like a massive car park. It's really nice to be here first thing in the morning. As you can see the rocks are lighting up and um, looks like it's going to be a really good day. Matthew's right, composing a message to the folks back home. Yeah, Ready to depart Simpsons Gap, we're off to Mulga. About 16 k's, four and a half hours. And the weather report is... Sunny, sunny as. So let's go. Tonight's gourmet delight is mashed potato, gravy, chicken, bits, and potato chips on top. Oh, that was a good day, wasn't it? That yeah, was a really good day, actually. I enjoyed the start of the day at the Simpsons Gap, and then the Bond Gap was even better. I really enjoyed the birds that we saw. And Orengi Bluff, it's a really awesome, it's a glowing orange. And I also enjoyed walking through the river of beds, all the sand and the gums. And camp, another lady's turned up. 
actually walked all the way from Mullaby Gap today and the two guys and so it's nice and quiet. Bit of a chilly morning again. We've got about uh, 10 k's to uh, establish shelter called Jay Creek, then another three or so up onto Private Spur up on a high camp, which is what we're aiming for tonight, so we can camp high and hopefully see some stars and sunset and sunrise and stuff. But it does mean carrying water up the hill. So let's go. I feel it coming, I feel it taking control. It's the hurt I imagine From us to nothing There's something missing you stole And it's a little tragic Hey, guess what? The, the markers on the GPS, the bus stop markers, they're kilometre markers. That's handy, eh? And it's taking you to the 20k mark on section 2 to figure that out. Well, we had lunch at Jay Creek campsite, and now we're we've walked through Jay Creek and made it to Fish Hole. We're at the junction where we get to make a choice between the high route and the low route and we're going to take the high route up and camp up at Crafter Spur hopefully. Um, it's pretty hot and we're carrying a heap of water because there's no water up there. Um, but it's, it's going good and we can see a ringy bus that we walked past last night too, so it's good too. The campsite has been chosen, this is the campsite. We're right on the top of the hill and we've got 360 views and it's epic. coffee and I've got porridge with apple. It's not as cold as you would expect it to be. It's not the coldest water I've had in my mountain. Um, the rocks have to here so I can get a bit of a glow on. We've still got a full moon up here and we're just hoping the sun is soon going to pop over that horizon in another uh, 12 minutes. Good morning, good morning. Day four, we're off to Stanley Chasm for a recharge, burgers and um, a bit of civilization. We're not really ready for that, but it's been a great time camping up on the top here. Yeah, fantastic sunset last night. The moonrise was pretty awesome as well. Big orange full moon coming up and then the sunrise this morning. Just, and just putting the light across the hills is, was epic. And we just have a cheeky 10 and a half k's to Stanley Chasm. But let's go, burgers. A part of me still wants you A part of me still wants you I've got my own place We've just come down this here, which is Music Gully Dropped down from the top, it's about 2k, so did it in just on an hour, which is good 
And now we're on our way to Stanley. That's where we're heading up the guts there. Just had to scramble up that rock up there. Um, there's like plenty of footholds though. What's in our way now? But lucky, there's a route up here and then around there. These are the Spinifex bushes that are super spiky. We're heading up to that saddle and kind of over another saddle then we're down towards Standard Cattle. You can see Erica on the other side, we've got to go big down and a big up. It won't take long. Section three of the Larapinta Dove. Hey.